Hey, Angie. Hey. Hey, how you doing, Angela? I'm fine, thank you. Do you have a question for our guest speaker? Yeah, I think it's kind of funny. He keeps saying Acts, Acts of 1830, Acts of 1933, Acts of 1870. He keeps saying Acts. Like, what's an act? An act is part of the play. Yeah, it's all fraud. So why do I care about the fraud of 1933, the fraud of 1870, the fraud? Why do I care? It's an act. Because it, because it affects you. But what happens, why don't they just make it the law of 1933? Because because it isn't law. They can't even hide right. behind law. There you go. So if it's not law, why do I care what the act is if I'm not a if I'm not Because, because they, they, they have all the guns and they have all the people participating. Say, whenever they drop, whenever they tell somebody to do something, they can get them to do it. We're participating in our own demise. I mean, like I said, I don't even like to go to Illinois because it, it, if you don't produce a state-issued ID, you're going to jail. Okay. So it, okay. it has nothing to do with truth. This is about their system that they own. Okay, well, what happened if they claimed that, uh, like, I had uh, somebody had, like, guns in their house and pot, so they took their kids away? Um, how hard would it be to get the kids back if they just went to court and say, I'm a man and I claim that you're wrong to us holding my property, and I demand it back? How hard would that be to get just to make a claim and say, I want my property back? What would they do? I, I don't think you can make such a claim. Really? No, and, uh, you, you don't have any. You don't have any rights over your family. You don't realize that you're not even the husband. And, and no offense here, but the husband is 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 of this farm. This is this is a farm. This is a state farm. You think the insurance company is joking? But this is a state farm, and and the husband to all the women, the husband to all the mothers of the children within America, is the president of this farm. He is the husband to everybody. He's the husband to me. Because this is a farm, and, and, and it's run on husbandry. There is, oh. no, there is no rule of law. This is private property run and owned by a handful of people. So you can't claim your children as your property? No, because they're not yours. They're, they're part oh. of the book. They're, they're part of the, they're part of the, the tome. They're, they're part of that script. Oh, but what I'm saying is... Um Whatever, if I just thought, like I said, made a simple claim and just said, I'm a man, I'm Carl Lentz, and I claim the wrongdoers uh, hold my property, and uh, they trespass upon my property, and I demand an immediate return. I, I wish it were that simple. I mean, I, uh, I know lots of Angela, people would have tried that. Angela, why don't you tell them what I did? Well, why don't you tell them? Well, a Canadian couple, I had a Canadian couple do exactly that in court, and three days later they got their kids back, and the crime is terrified of them. They're terrified of them? Terrified. They said they're scared coopless, but the lady just said, really, us. But she just get And Villa heard the call. Andrew listened to the show. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, you know what? They let a lot of people go so they can they can disinformation. They can, they can pass out disinformation saying this works, that works. I'll be no. honest with you. I don't know anybody that's ever actually done anything where it could be duplicated. Okay, well, the problem is that the Crown tried to convince these people to take the word children off the paperwork. They actually have the signature from the clerk of the court that said that we will not accept the word children. You have to put children, you can't use the word property. So I told the lady, you have to use the word property because the state, the Crown, cannot make a claim for property. Only a man can make a claim for property in a common law country. And, and you still believe that that once everything is done at the very beginning of your existence, that, that you have common law access? Yes, absolutely. I'm a man. I have common law. I'm a three-dimensional world, not a two-dimensional statutory world. Exactly. But I, 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 you know, I, I don't disagree with you at all. Okay. I, I'm just so saying that, that I, I'd like to actually see this in action because I've never seen anybody, I've never known anybody ever <laughs> that could do duplicate what, what is somebody else did. All you have to do is say is you're a man, and nobody, you know Transy versus Pacquiao clearly stipulates the fact that under common law nation, no attorney can testify under all the affirmation. Only a man can make a claim in court. An attorney can't do it. Absolutely. So then you're standing, there's nobody standing next to you. If you're coming in as a man, there is no state, there is no government standing next to you because of, you just can evoke the common law. I want you to evoke the common law, because you're going to be the only man standing in court. Then what? Well, you're, you're assuming that jurisdiction had not been granted yet, correct? No, I'm presuming, not assuming, but I'm presuming. 
that I claim, plus I said I am a man, and I will settle any claim for, before this court, a verifiable claim, if there's no verifiable claim before this court, uh, I'm going to go home, but I'll be more than glad to come back without prejudice to answer any claim of any debt that any man brings forth to this court who is, will be willing to verify it in open court under open affirmation. They let you go. That's it? All time. Uh, no, no, they let you go. Of course. But, they can't but hold again, my, my question, just like the Rufus, is what percentage of the population realistically should have to be able should have to know what you know? It's simple. It's one sentence. That's exactly what the, the whole entire claim that scared the bejesus out of the clown was it was I, Joseph Arsenal, claimed the wrongdoers trespass upon my property. That was a whole claim. That was a whole lawsuit. Upon my property? Upon my property. Mm hmm. A children of her property. You see exhibit A, B, C, and D. Susie, Bob, Billy, and Joe. There you go. They got them back two, three days later. They said they're scared. Oh, so so you're, actually, you're using their definitions against them. What definitions? Property. Property. They can't make a claim for property. property. Right, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what John Locke says about property, right? Say that again. You know what property is, right? What's your definition of property? Well, I don't know. All of which a man claims property to his person, exclusive all of the society, in which he has the exclusive rights to enjoy. John Locke, 1790, Second Treatise. Property. All which a man claims is property of this person, exclusive to all others within a society. It means your dreams, your hopes, your, your blood pressure, your heart rate, your eyesight, your, ch your, your children, everything that you claim, exclusive to, to your enjoyment. Enjoying means attached to you, exclusive to all others. Now, anybody else can make a claim for her property. Fine. Let's come forth and make another man or woman to make claim for her children, her property. Make it, make the claim known or forever hold your peace. Well, I'm going home with my property. Does anybody want to stop me? And the, the, the claim was simple. A lawsuit just basically said trespass, colon, robbery. And robbery meant simply that somebody physically took the property from her, a children from her, and that she could point to that person in the courtroom and said, that's the person who robbed me. See, that of her children would have been if the children went to school and she couldn't point down the courtroom and said, I don't know who did it, but somebody did it. It's theft, and all I know is my children aren't here, but they're over there, and I want them back. That's theft. She just made a trespass with the claim was the suit, was the nature of the suit was a trespass, and the characteristic was a robbery. One sentence done. The order was, simple order, I'm going to charge you $1,000 <laughs> the, the, the order was simple. The order was, I'm going to, I'm going to order you to pay $1,000 a day for each piece of property held in naked possession. And then the part, second part of the order was, I will forgive those who trespass upon me and my property, as I'd wish others to forgive me of that, my trespass upon their properties, my children returned to me immediately. So Monday they went to court, and uh, they held a recess, and then Tuesday when they came back, the Crown met them in the lobby, and they said, uh, let's get poop, let's tell you. You know, uh, you want to become a lawyer? You want to pass the bar? You know, you want to work for us? You know. Where, you was the, where was this, where did this happen? New Brunswick, Canada. There's a whole, I, I, I do a talk show, man. My name's Carl Lance. And the gal that did it, uh, Told her story. It was really good. She got not, kids there's back. There's, there's always kids some talk. good stories out of Canada. <laughs> and then the kids, and oh no, these these people, these people had a one-year-old baby, and the crowd wouldn't give it to the grandma, to any of the aunts, none of the nieces, none of the family. They put it right to foster care. She said, "I had family wrapped around a block trying to take these these, these children back into the family's custody." They said, "No way." They put it right into foster care. All four of the kids. No, they right. were merciless. They, they, they were there for a termination of parental hearing, termination of parental rights trial. They were involved with this, these people for five months. They called me up two weeks before the termination of parental rights trial, and I, man, I had to fly through this stuff with these people. I said, look, just make a claim for your property be returned. They will be returned, believe me. I said, do not change one word that I put on the paper. Don't add, don't take nothing away. Well, let me, let me, let me ask you something, because, I mean, you're, when you speak, you're speaking directly of the crowd. The, the, you're right, the crown, you're telling you, they're, they're in Queen's Bench, right? Okay, well, th th there, is, there, is, there is a step that is removing the crown here in America, and, and the, you know, the Department of Justice is acting on behalf of the crown, but, but they're acting as if it's the United States. 
Okay. Uh, so are you saying that uh, ultimately... Carl, back nobody... off your mic a little bit. You're breathing into it really noisy. Who, me? Angela, yeah. are you talking to Angela? Yes. I'm talking to Carl. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I usually breathe on the, on the calls, and I don't know who's on the other end. <laughs> 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 Carl, Carl, so I, I, my question is, when I, I mean, I realize, I know who the Department of Justice is, and I know who they work for, I know who their boss is and everything. The problem is, is they, that will never be admitted. So... Even if I were to make a statement such as that, I mean, how do I do it here uh, and do it this, because I know who everybody is, I just don't know how to get anybody to actually acknowledge anything. Hi, Angela, muted me, so you got to hang on a second, it's lag time now. So uh, what do you think is the... Is the, is the is you're, you're unmuted now, but you kept breathing into the mic, it was annoying, so I muted you while he was talking. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> Are you saying, are you saying it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, feds make, make a, a complaint, the criminal complaint against you, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I'm saying that, you know, some, there's, there's not an extra wall of, of uh, smoke, or, you know, what I'm saying is that the Department of Justice is worth directly for the Crown, but, but that you'll never hear it. In fact, I mean, a buddy of mine discovered a paper here in, or down in Illinois, I should say, that showed who the Attorney Generals were actually working for. And once it gets exposed that the Attorney Generals are working directly for the Crown or the property and revenues of the Crown, you know, nobody here wants to believe that. And I'm not really sure how far the attorneys want to want to lay claim to that. But the point is, is that you have basically in Canada a direct link. You know who's doing what. Where one, there is one step removed here uh, in America or the United States that there is no claim like that. No, nobody really is laying claim to any of the Crown activity. But like you said, Curtis R. Kallenbach, I'm absolutely certain does, I mean, it's Crown property, whereas Curtis Richard Kallenbach is not Crown property. So, and, and Curtis Kallenbach is, is Well, like I said, well, like I said, let me put it this way. Let me make a simple thing with the name. Say my name is Carl Lentz, okay? Who is going to move me to court and claim that I'm their property? Some man is going to have to come forward. The government has no way to come. Once you, because you know this is a common law nation, right? Right. And there is no higher court in this land than a, than a jury, right? Well, there are no juries in America anymore, though. Okay, okay. But, so you're trying to say there is no Seventh Amendment? No, no, no the, the Constitution is irrelevant at this point because they're only dealing with statutory persons. There, there isn't so, anything left. So are you saying that I can't evoke a uh, court of record? I don't believe anybody can in America. Sure, I do all the time. But are you trying to do like it? I said, a court, because a court of record only, only, only moves under the common law. And then you, can get somebody to rec- you can get somebody to acknowledge a court of record. Absolutely. Do it all the time. It's simple. It's a very simple thing to do. You just, uh, you, you just get rid of all that, all that stuff that you're talking about, like uh, uh, the names and stuff like that. You just say, I'm a man, and I claim the right to revoke the court of record. And that's all you do. And then if the clerk of the court interferes with that right, how is she going to make it so simple? How, why would she uh, say that you can't? And then, like I said, that would be interfering with access to the court. And then you, all you have to do is make sure that the head judge is aware that the court clerk is interfering with your right to access the court. And all these court clerks and all these judges are insured. They're all, yes, they're bonded to a point, but they're also insured. They're both. So you, they know that they could be uh, held liable if they interfere with man's civil rights, statutory rights, common law rights, or constitutional rights. I got the, I got the insurance form for our federal district court that says that if you don't think we're covering you folks with enough indemnity, if you interfere with somebody's rights, you, uh, we recommend that you uh, get additional coverage, and uh, but don't discuss the uh, coverage here if they're in business hours. They know they're insured. They know they can't interfere with your rights. They're not dumb people. You two ought to get together and have a conversation. We're already almost three hours into this call, and we still have someone that would like to ask a question. Um, hey, you guys. Carol, uh, yeah, give me uh, have Angela uh, email me some information. Sure. I'd be my, uh, give you about yeah, it. My, my, my website is uh, broad, 
Rodmind.org. Andrew, can you type that in for him? Rodmind.org. Yeah, B R O A D M I N D dot org. Uh huh. Got it. I got it. I'll get a hold of you. All right. Yeah, so much, all right. Send you his email. I've got his contact information. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't call you back. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't call you back yesterday, Angel. I was eating dinner with three guys from North Carolina. Oh, that's fine. You know what? I forgot even <laughs> what we were talking about. I guess we were talking about. Yeah, um, wanted they wanted to meet the wizard. <laughs> oh, well, I don't blame them. When you win, hey, listen, you know what? There's nothing wrong with following success, right? Hey, that's hey, what we all want to learn how to do it. So, Angela, these guys actually met me, and they and I'm what I look like on that web page. Okay. They they met me. And I said, you yeah, yeah, you. Are you fishing for a compliment, Carl? <laughs> no, you didn't think that was what I was. You said, no, that can't be you. I was like, That's no, funny. I didn't say that. I never said that. Uh, okay. So, anyway, let's <laughs> right, move it. Okay, you two. We all move on now to California.